Do you find yourself torn to decide which is the best out of three very similar artifacts? Well, not to worry, because in this guide, we'll be covering a very quick and easy way to score your artifacts. Now, gear scoring is not a new concept by any means, but it has been often overshadowed by prioritization of crit. However, with the rise of characters who use more than crit, I felt it was very timely to make a quick and straight to the point guide on gear scoring. The concept of gear scoring starts off knowing that there are a maximum of 9 so-called rolls, 3 or 4 from the plus 0, and 5 rolls thereafter every 4 levels. I'm sure most of you know this, but rolls have high and low rolls too. But a fun fact that many of you might not know is that rolls are actually made up of more than 1 decimal places. This is why a double max rule of crit damage is not 15.6. Combined with the possible rolls on substats, we get this complicated looking chart here of possible rolls. But not to worry, we're only just looking at the max roll for now, which we adjust and round for a simple number to calculate later on. One thing to note is that flat stats are given the value of 0. We are now able to use this chart to calculate the gear score of general artifacts. Let's use this goblet for Zhongli as an example. Zhongli is able to use all four substats, so we divide the substats by the respective allocated number on the left, and then sum up all the scores, giving us a total of a 8.1 gear score. And for characters like Kokomi that don't use a particular substat, assign those values to be 0. And back to the opening question, to decide which of the viridescent feathers are better, let's take Kazuha for an example, and do a quick calculation. For the first feather, the HP substat is given a value of 0 and we calculate the total value to be 4.71. We do the same for the next two feathers and find out that the third feather is actually the most efficient. Now, we have this next video here that will help you to optimize your crit ratios, which I'll like you to learn. See you in the next video.